Hey guys, how's it going? It's Elias. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, as you can see behind me, we're working on the Type R. We're going to improve its shifting quality. Now, of course, you know the Type R has amazing shifting qualities. It's really, really good. Uh, it's probably one of the best cars out there today. But you know me, I'm very picky with my shifter and my shifting quality. I'm very spoiled because of my S2000, I guess. And the Prelude's pretty good too. Uh, this Prelude. And so uh, today we're going to be improving it. Uh, if you are interested in improving your shifter quality in your Type R, go ahead and watch this video. There's two things I recommend you do. So the first thing I recommend you do to improve shift quality is, in my opinion, to get a new shift knob. Now, I don't know about you, but I, you know, I've been using the Type R extensively at the track and driving around town. And it's a great shift knob, don't get me wrong, it's a really good shift knob for a factory shift knob. But uh, it's just a bit too round for me. And you know, sometimes I go to grab it and it just doesn't fit in my palm as it should. Maybe I have small hands, I don't know, I don't think so. Uh, all my other shift knobs uh, work pretty well. The one in the Subaru, the one in the Prelude, they all seem to work pretty well. So, you know, I don't think that's it. I think uh, it's just that, you know, the way it was designed uh, is a kind of a universal fit. It. For me to get the best fit on my palm, I think I need a teardrop style. So the second modification, and this I've been meaning to do this for like two months now, and and these are for people. This is for people that prefer to do their own rev matching. I know the Type R brings its own rev match system. Now my thing with that rev match system is that it doesn't always rev match. If it's at low RPM or slow speed, it won't raise the RPM a tiny bit to downshift. I like to do that myself, and if it's if it's doing it for me, I'm gonna get used to it not uh, blipping for me. And that's the other thing. If I get used to it rev matching for me, I'll get lazy and I won't do it for my other cars that you know have a, a manual transmission, the WRX, the Prelude, and I have an S2000 as well. So uh, I like to rev match myself. Unfortunately, the pedal placement is atrocious in the Type R. You got the brake pedal way up here, and you got the gas pedal way down there. So why do they do that? Why does Honda do that? Well, actually, it's because of the whole uh, unintended acceleration thing that happened a number of years ago with Toyota. And uh, some people just, for whatever reason, don't really understand the difference between the accelerator pedal and the brake pedal. They get confused and they'll hit the accelerator when they mean to hit the brake pedal. So the way, one way to differentiate that is to raise the brake pedal and lower the accelerator pedal so that you know which one's which. I hate that. My truck has that, and uh, any new car that you buy nowadays is going to have that problem. The 10th gen Civics, with this, you can get that fixed, and uh, it's pretty easy, and, and I love it. Honestly, even if you had an automatic 10th gen Civic, I would still get one of these. Uh, I love Acuity instruments, for, first of all, and second, it's a quality instrument, it's a very quality made piece. And I, I just, it makes it so that it's an old school style of accelerator and brake pedal right next to each other, just as I would like it. So let's go ahead and install both the shift knob and this, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So everything you'll need to install the pedal spacer is right here. Uh, we have a five, is this a five millimeter? Uh, it was Allen, five millimeter Allen. We have a 12 millimeter socket. And if you're like me and you work at all kinds of days and nights after work, you know, you need a work light. Uh, you push the seat all the way back and then you get started. So you have to take off these nuts right here, one, two, and three, using your socket. I recommend using one of these 
to help you remove this electrical connector here right above the pedal. So now that the pedal is out I can show you even better. So it mounts to the firewall just to the back there with these 12 millimeter nuts. Very easy to take off. Very nice. Especially since it's a newer car. And then there's a clip here. Electrical connector. You just hold down a little connector and you lift it up and it should be pretty easy. So as you can see here, I'm going to take these nuts off so I don't lose it. I can configure this in one of three ways. So there's three different holes here. Well, first of all, there's a mounting. You mount it there, right back to the factory OEM. And then after you mount it, then you can mount the pedal to one of three spaces, A, B, or C. And they'll line up exactly A to A, B to B, C to C. I'm either thinking B or C. I'm not sure yet. If you put it in A, it keeps it equi you know, where it was now, so it'll keep it, the pedal at the stock uh, distance between the brake pedal and uh, the accelerator pedal, but it will bring it forward as I like it. B sets it up so that it's closer to the brake pedal, but a little bit high, and then C puts, it, puts the accelerator pedal a little bit lower um, than uh, the factory mounting. I might put it in C actually. I think I'll put C. Uh, it might be the best for me and it may not be the best for you. You have to figure out which one's best. So as we can see here I've mounted the pedal to the Acuity Spacer and this is how it looks like. I love the purple by the way. That's their branding. I love that branding and it's, it's really well done. All the pieces are really really well done. I really like it a lot. Uh, and this is the stock nuts that you're gonna use the stock bolts that are it's already in the car and you're gonna thread them here here and then one down here and then you should be all set as you can see there I put in the acuity spacer put the nuts in next up is the pedal so the final few steps is to hit it with 13 foot-pounds from your torque wrench using the five millimeter allen wrench right there and that's what it looks like installed so I actually ended up using the B setting. I think the C setting is a bit too low for my taste. I think the B setting is perfect. Look at that space right there. Oh my God, I can't wait to try it out. So after the install, here's how the pedals are. Wow, look at the difference. It's right there. It's perfect. Perfect. I can heel toe without even thinking about it. Oh my god, this is going to be so much better. I can't wait to use it on the track and on the back roads. Thank you Acuity for doing that. This is perfect. On to the next upgrade.